Irish mommy as well. Cup of tea. Whenever you go home, oh, it's yeah. the kettle. First thing on. Yeah. They don't know what to do with people that don't drink tea. Yeah. That is, we have this conversation about Irish people being forced to drink when they're alcohol, when they're out. I think that's kind of reversed. It's people not drinking tea, Emma. Mm -hmm. Oh, yes. yeah, because my brother doesn't drink tea. And my granny, for years, she'd say, will you have a cup of tea? Like, no, I don't drink tea. She'd Okay, she'd take it as like a personal thing. Like against he had a character her. flaw. Yeah, or no, but it was against her. Like he probably did drink tea, but not in her house. Or you know that kind of thing. Like it was against her. So she's like, okay, fair, fair yeah, enough. Yeah. Brand can't yeah. force them, and you're like, you probably would if you could. Yeah. But you're not going. I go on. I go oh, on. I you will. Oh, you yeah. will. You will. Yeah. She was mad she for was the like, tea, mad yeah. for it. But you're force fed in Irish, in Irish oh, homes. Mm -hmm. yes. You know, literally, I, my sons, I used to bring them home for holidays every, about two or three times a year. And I remember my eldest son saying to me, he was about 12, and we were flying back and he said, Mammy, can I ask you something? I said, of course you can, son. He said, do they eat anything else in Ireland other than rashers and stuff? <laughs> <laughs> I said, of course we do. He said, but we went, we had... Rashers and sausages and grannies. And then we went to your brother's for lunch and we had rashers and sausages um, in his. And then we went to your other brother's for tea and we had rashers and sausages with chips. He said, I just wondered if there was anything other than rashers and sausages. <laughs> Sounds like a good thing. And, and, yeah. and everyone's been so good. We'll give them the rashers. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs>